we were talking about a, um, a graph we could make for a new company when you launch between uh, coolness and boring. So one axis extreme is boring, the other is coolness, and then there is revenue. <laughs> and um, sometimes it doesn't correlate. Like it, 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 and I like ballsy and, and cool, of course, and Julien is definitely going in that direction. I hope he has the revenue that goes with it, which is what Airbnb did. But sometimes it's not always the case. Anyway, we have now the 3D, uh, 3D demo, the 3D pen demo, Maxwell Bug from uh, Wobble Works. I cannot pronounce that. Maker of the three doodler. Max? <laughs> okay. You have fans here, it looks like. <laughs> So I'm Maxwell Bogue, as he said, I'm the CEO of Wobbleworks, uh, and we were the creators of the 3 Doodler, uh, the world's first 3D printing pen. Um, so before I get into that, though, I want to give you guys a little bit of an education for anyone who doesn't know what a 3D printer is. If you could uh, roll the video, please. So this is a classic 3D printer, and the idea behind 3D printing is that you have an object that's layered up, layer by layer, and plastic is printed out or extruded out of the machine to create a physical object. You create a model in a 3D environment on your computer, and then you print it out using one of these printers, and then you create a physical product. So they're complicated, they're expensive, they cost around $2,000. Um, and us at Wobbleworks, we like to make conventions. So we took the 3D printer and we radically simplified it, removing the need for uh, basically all these motors. So now I will show you the three doodler. Oops. So if you could roll the three doodler video. Thank you. So the three doodler is a handheld 3D printer, essentially. You are the XYZ table that you would normally use in a traditional 3D printer. And you move around and fill in with plastic. It's essentially a plastic welding gun, but it allows you to do some really neat stuff. You can draw in the air. So as you can see in this video, we're drawing a box, and it represents a whole new way of thinking and drawing and using 3D technology. The Three Doodler is really an entry-level device for 3D technology, 3D drawing, and all this 3D printing stuff. Uh, it costs $100 instead of $2,000. And it's a much more robust item in the sense that you can just pick it up and start using it right away. If you can draw on a flat piece of paper, you can draw using a three doodler. And it takes a little bit of learning, but you can quickly figure out how to do 3D drawings. And it gets quite expansive as to what you can do with a three doodler. The other thing that you can do is you can draw on flat pieces of paper and then peel the plastic off of the paper and create three-dimensional models. So in a second, we'll hit that. Uh, that's a magnet of a butterfly that I did. So you stick the magnet and three-dual around it. So this is one of our stencils. And you just draw on the flat paper, then you peel the plastic off, and then you join the pieces together, and you get an Eiffel Tower. So that's pretty neat. This is the more classic pen. We put this up on Kickstarter in February, and we raised $2.3 million in the 30 days that we were online with 26,000 backers. Uh, we've continued by putting a pre-order system, and you can now pre-order the 3 Doodler at the 3 doodlercom So how did we make this cool, amazing device? We started by one day, Peter Dilworth uh, was sitting there watching his 3D printer, and it made a mistake. So Pete was like, I wish I could just pick the extruder head up off my 3D printer and fill in that hole that it made and put it back. Why can't we do that? We realized that we can do that. So we took apart one of our 3D printers, and we made what we called the teacup, which was horrendous and barely worked. But it barely worked. So we decided to keep going and uh, make another version. And we went through six iterations to come up with version six, which is the version that people will be receiving starting in September. 
uh, and it's very robust, it's sleeker, much more pen-like, which is really what we were going for. So you may say, well, what, what can you actually do with this thing? What's the uses? Besides just making pretty things, 3D jewelry and whatnot, you can make art. This is a bicycle that our chief doodler made. We have a lot of interest from a large swath of artists that want to use mixed medium with this device. You can also add to existing things. So your iPhone case, for example, you can doodle on top of it and bling it out. And we offer uh, two types of plastic. So quick education on plastic. There's ABS plastic and there's PLA plastic. And PLA plastic is made from corn, and ABS plastic is made from oil. ABS is recyclable, PLA is compostable. One's very sticky, one's less sticky. They each have their advantages and disadvantages. In this uh, example here, we did a repair or a modification where we took a fisheye lens and wrapped some PLA plastic around the metal fisheye lens and then created a little holder to hold the fisheye lens onto a laptop. The stencils are another really big thing for us. So if you're not very artistic and you're not very capable of making artistic stuff, you can go online to our website and you print out a stencil and you simply color in the lines, peel the material off, and you can use it right away. <clears throat> or join the pieces together to create a 3D structure like the Eiffel Tower. Um, you know, we have a bridge, we have an, a vast array of stencils that are being on our community site, as well as the fact that other users can come onto our website, upload their stencils, and then share their experiences with the 3Doodler. Other industries that have been looking at the 3Doodler very heavily is architects who want to use it for 3D sketching, as well as augmenting already developed uh, models. You can just draw on top of it, I don't like this, I want to have a building going on like that. Uh, we have a lot of interest from, the, from teachers who want to use it in geometry classes, as well as art teachers. Um, and things that we just never thought of, like helping the visually impaired. There's no way right now to graph on a piece of paper, uh, if you do a graph, there's no way to do a raised line. But the 3Doodler allows you to create a raised line on a flat piece of paper, and as a result, you can feel it. Uh, we've had a lot of interest from interior designers who want to, instead of faux painting, you can 3Doodle for your faux design. And then just general 3D sketching. And it really is only limited by your imagination. Um, I just wanted to really quickly point out that the 3Doodler was made at a hacker space. And if you're not familiar with hacker spaces, they're community spaces that allow people to come and share tools and share ideas. And we made ours at the Artisans Asylum in Boston. And we're very thankful for the existence of spaces like this. And hacker space is really helpful in developing physical product. So the question after this is, what is the future of all this? And where is 3D printing in general kind of going? There's a lot of work being done right now on bioprinters. So you can print cells and create rat hearts, is what they're doing right now, that will actually beat. In the future, you can imagine that we can create full organs or print replacement parts like ears and things like that. As well as, as the technology develops in general, 3D printers will become more useful and ubiquitous, where you could imagine walking into a miniature Walmart, flipping through a digital catalog, picking some items, and then they say, come back in 45 minutes, and then you have your stack of plates. And then you could even take your old plates, give it to that same photo booth style system, they'll chunk it up, and then use that plastic to print out new materials. Now, right now, 3D printers are very limited because of the software requirements, and the fact that you need to know how to do 3D software to get them to work, as well as they still have a relatively large carbon footprint. So this is another major issue that needs to be solved. Right now, they're really only useful for doing um, small numbers of things, hundreds of something. When you want to do thousands, you're still better off going to large-scale manufacturing. So now everyone wants to see it, so that's the fun part. I will now demo one of the three doodlers. Oh. Can we see it now, Max? Ah, there you go. <laughs> I, I don't want to see it, I want to you try play. it. You want to play? So it looks like a hairbrush. Uh, so these are version fours. And as I was showing before, there's version six, which has been greatly sleeked out and made just a little more fun. Could you print 3D hair for me? I can, I can definitely print some 3D hair. 
So these are some examples of the stencils that we use. You know, you can just draw on top of something and then peel it off of the paper. If you want, you can fool around with a PLA one. Yes. And then I'll show this lovely little ABS one. Here we go. There we go. And the ABS is great for doing the, okay. the visual ups, as we like to call them. Yeah, there we go. And then you simply lift up. Mm. And then you have a working spring. <laughs> that falls off. But as you can see, there's quite a lot you can do with this beyond just printing vertically and being artistic. You can use it to repair things. If you break uh, something that's made of plastic, you can weld it back together. And it works. Good job. I may need some refill. Hmm? I may need some refill. Oh, you might need a refill, so hold on one second. <laughs> I'm just going to make a flower. I was trying to do a one. Did you not want to do a web logo? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to do. Here, actually, I'll switch with you, and I'm going to make a dog really quick. Oh. A dog? A dog. It is quite a lot of fun, and I've developed uh, quite a number of products over the years. Um, okay, but this is the first one that I've never grown tired of. Ah. There we go. Starting blue, have blue. Max, what, what can you do with it? So beyond making 3D objects and just having fun with it, <laughs> hey. it can be used as an educational tool. And as I was saying before, you can repair things. Try to do a low web. Yeah. I started. I have the Lu. Oh, OK. Le. Sorry, I'm tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> Try. You know, with the different materials, you can do different fun things. Like, for example, you can print on glass, you can print on um, metal with the PLA. There's also this a vast array up. of new materials that are coming out for the 3D yeah. printing industry. Super successful. No problem? Uh, no, no problem. No, the technology <laughs> is great. It's uh, the human factor. <laughs> All right, here we go. So there's new um, wood filaments that you can actually use, nylon filaments. Um, there's conductive so I'm filaments. too fast. I shouldn't be too fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one you're going to kind of move nice and slow to make okay, it. OK, Glass. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> OK, Glass. Learn how to draw. I'm really bad. Who wants one? All right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, I guess I need to learn how to uh, use a pen first before using a 3D pen. <laughs> There's definitely some learning curve for learning how to, to draw in three dimensions. How much is the cost? 200 bucks? It's $100. $100. US. And you can actually pre order it on our website now. There's like a dog. What's the website uh, URL? The3doodler.com. There's also some fun stuff. Yeah. So it actually comes out. Not particularly hot, although the tip itself is very hot. <clears throat> I did a star. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm just going to make a little <laughs> ring here. 
Yeah, all right. Um, I guess I need to try to focus on something else. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a little dog. You know that joke about how you take pictures with Google Glass? <laughs> if you want to zoom, <laughs> that's how you do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> well, hey, okay. Robin, stop making fun of me with your uh, tweets about me taking stupid pictures with glasses. It's not the best drink ever made. So. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah, tweet us at go. the Three Doodler. Cool. You can Pretty give ring. us some tweet fun. Oh, and it's red, so it's good for the red campaign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the Three Doodler. See if I can do this flower. All right. Can you print lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, NASA just launched a project to print uh, food. So wow. there's you're a, serious? Um, so there's a 3D printer pizza that they're working on. So you can 3D print a pizza. You, you know there's an incubator for hardware in San Francisco that I've uh, met. And there is a startup there doing a robot to do burgers. And uh, it's not 3D. I mean, I, yes, it's 3D, but the, the entire thing makes a burger entirely automated. <laughs> it's a robot. You, you put your money and you get a burger. It's all cooked by the machine. Great. Well, Max, uh, this is cool. Everybody wants one. And you'll be around? Can I'll be around. Right, yeah, so we're going to demo this. Um, OK, after class. This. Is Max going to be around this afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> So people can actually come up and try it themselves and see. Where will you be? Sure it's fun. In the venue? I think we're supposed to be doing it um, off the stage somewhere. Off the stage somewhere. <laughs> Jalin, I think it's from? in this room. So It's okay. off the stage somewhere. Yeah. It's going to be off the stage somewhere. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you so much, Max. No, thank you. Uh, thank you. It's very cool. And uh, track Max is going to be off the stage somewhere. Let, <laughs> let's say you're going to be uh, over there in front of the stairs. Why not? I, I think, yeah, it's yeah? outside somewhere. So. And uh, did I say something wrong? I shouldn't have said that. It's time for lunch, and we'll see you all at 2.30. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a good break, because yes. you asked for that. You asked for more networking so spread, time. So spread around. There are buffets everywhere, uh, upstairs, downstairs. So yeah, not only here, everywhere. Not only here. So downstairs, uh, in the attendees meeting room. So. And we'll see you at 2.30 for see you at 2 :30, yeah. more exciting content. Those of you online, uh, no food for you guys, sorry. Uh, but we'll see you at 2.30 uh, British British. British London British. time. My, uh, my English is a catastrophe. <laughs> if, if that was the only catastrophe. Thank you all. See you, See you soon.